Good morning, my dear friends. I welcome you to today's edition of the Faith Issues brought to you by the Department of the Social Communication in the Catholic Diocese of Nsuka. This Friday, in the first week of Advent, and on this special day that we celebrate the solemnity of Immaculate Conception. And that's why I invite you to reflect with me on the theme, Say Yes with Our Lady. Today, as we gather to celebrate the solemnity of Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we are all invited to contemplate the profound meaning and the significance of this feast in the Catholic Church and to our lives as Christians. It is true that Immaculate Conception have been confused by a lot of people, have been misinterpreted by a lot of people to mean the conception of Christ. But no. It simply refers to the special way in which the Virgin Mary herself was conceived. It refers to the belief that Mary, from the moment of her conception in the womb of her mother, St. Anne, was preserved, that's the word, was preserved from the stain of original sin. And this singular grace bestowed upon Mary sets her apart as the purest vessel chosen by God to bear his son, Jesus Christ. So that in this act of divine intervention, we witness a unique and extraordinary role that Mary plays in the history of our salvation. Now, the church over time has thought that Mary, who is full of grace, has been set apart from the moment of her conception. But this solemnity of today was made a dogma by Pope Pius IX in his document Ineffabilis Deus, the Ineffable God, on the 8th of December 1854, where he, where he now made a pronouncement that we, decree, we declare, announce, and define that the doctrine which states that the Blessed Virgin Mary was preserved in the first instance of her conception by a singular grace and privilege of God omnipotent, and because of the merits of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the human race, free from all stain of original sin, is revealed by God and must be believed firmly with constancy by all the faithful. So my dear friends, since Advent is a time when we prepare ourselves for the birth of Jesus, the celebration of the Immaculate Conception first of all reminds us that we serve a God that prepares, a God whom for him to save humanity prepared and preserved our blessed mother Mary from original sin, from being contaminated from any stain of sin. And that is to tell us that to prepare to receive Jesus, the best preparation is abstaining from sin. Even in the local traditional contests, many of these are traditional worshippers, when they want to perform a very serious spiritual task, they also abstain from any form of sexual immorality. And that is to tell us that they also believe in what we call ritual purity. So the Feast of Immaculate Conception challenges us to purify ourselves, as we both, not just the body, but our hearts to receive Jesus. Secondly, while Mary said yes to the plan of God in her life by, the, by her fiat, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord, let it be done to me according to your word. Adam and Eve, in the first reading, said no to the plan of God by their, by their disobedience, by, by eating the forbidden fruit. This is to tell us, my dear friends, that we too, in our own way, have been called by God to do great things. God wants to do great things in our lives. He knows us before we are born. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. We were born for a people is greater than us. He has set us aside. And the only way we can achieve this plan of God in our lives is when we say yes as our Mary. We too can say yes by giving our whole trust, putting our whole trust in God by giving him our whole selves and by purifying ourselves to receive Jesus. This was also captured by St. Paul in the second reading where he tells us that we have been called 
to be holy and blameless before him. It's only in, the, in our blameless nature that we will be worthy enough to in, welcome Jesus in our hearts. And secondly, while Mary said yes to the plan of God in her life, Adam and Eve in the first reading said no to the plan of God, the divine plan for them. And that is to tell us that in the same way, God wants to do great things in our lives. Before we were born, he knew us. We were born for a purpose. And these peoples cannot be realized if we do not say yes to God and allow God's will to be done in our lives. And that's why we ask the Blessed Mother's intercession that we may be found worthy to be set aside for great things so that in the end, we too may reign with our Blessed Mother Mary, who is the Queen of Heaven. We shall reign with her in the presence of God. And I thank you for being part of this celebration and I pray that this celebration of today shall really call our, our attention to what our true identity as Catholics, as Christians is. Peace be with you. Happy Feast Day.